हेलो फ्रेंड्स सो वी आर एक्साइटेड टू बी हियर एंड लेट मी फर्स्ट टॉक अबाउट द आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस बिफोर वी बिगिन आवर एक्साइटिंग जर्नी सो आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस एज वी ऑल नो हैज़ ऑलरेडी पेनेट्रेटेड डिफरेंट स्ट्रीम्स राइट फ्रॉम द ओशियोनोग्राफी टू द एस्ट्रोनॉमी एंड जनरली स्पीकिंग आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस रिफर्स टू द मशीन्स एंड द सर्विसेस विच आर इंटेलिजेंट राइट एंड इन मेकिंग दैम इंटेलिजेंट वॉट इट डज इट the provides them the ability to learn and frankly speaking you know it has already served the humanities in so many different areas including education health and so on uh, but now the question that i wanted to raise here is what is next abhinav so jarendra let me answer that with a question and a hypothetical scenario so let's say there is a baby crying and the mother sees the baby the baby runs towards the mother the mother consoles the baby now in this what all happened the mother recognized that the baby was panicking was in a certain state and then re reacted accordingly now for the machines as well are we there yet and also you know to quote the father of ai professor marvin winsky from his book from 1986 the society of mind so professor marvin winsky said the question is not whether intelligent machines can have emotions but can machines be intelligent without emotions and this is where you know we need to see that how we can empower the machines of today for more effective and productive assistance to the users so this is a fascinating uh, quote by professor marvin minsky you know and motivated by this thought process only an entire domain of research which is known as the affective computing has emerged over the last decade or so and so affective computing essentially speaking it is all about making machines and services emotionally intelligent and affective computing lies at the intersection of computer science design and psychology to be able to so that it can provide this emotional intelligence to the uh, machines and the services that we are talking about and also friends during the course of this su subject we will be discussing the concepts of emotions how are emotions represented computationally then how are the different ways in which we can have an emotionally intelligent feedback from the machine and we will be covering concepts from computer vision speech processing machine learning and see how all these come together to create a system which is emotionally intelligent so in short we will have uh, four learning outcomes from this course so as the first outcome will be focused on that you will be able to demonstrate the basic understanding of the state of the art concepts from computer science design and psychology in relation to the affective computing second you will be able to implement compare and evaluate the effectiveness of different state of the art affect analysis methods so you will also be able to design your own methods based on basically saying data collection design development and evaluation for affect analysis in at least one of the fields of affective computing and you will also be able to predict the possible consequences of affective computing you will also be able to offer the concepts of ethical legal and social rules for development of affect recognition systems so we are really excited to start this journey together and uh, I believe that this is one of the first courses that is available globally in the field of affective computing and I hope we together hope that this particular offering will not only help the beginners in the domain but also will equally be helpful for the experts for the practicing experts in the industry and to our fellow academicians and we are really looking forward to the positive feedback from the community which can really help us in the improvement of the offering and with that we wish you all a very happy, happy learning happy learning hi uh, my name is prihi joshi and i am a second year computer science phd at the university of southern california um i took the effective computing class mm -hmm. in my undergrad at iit delhi um in the spring semester of 2020 and i was a fourth year undergrad then i decided to take that class because i had a good amount of experience with machine learning and deep learning methods including research in those areas but i had still not seen um application of these methods to real world cases or impactful cases uh which included a lot of human components for example human um emotion and action recognition and how to interpret 
um, human behavior using these methods. And instead of just being stuck in that computer science bubble of doing like coding or machine learning for cases which look very contrived, you'll be working with real world human data. Because ultimately we are designing all of these AI systems for humans and for their use case. And I feel like um, having this perspective early on as students is very important because this gives you motivation to use these technologies for greater good. So I would say make all use of this content, specifically try to give extra attention to the to the to the theoretical aspects that we try to study here, you know, like valence, arousal, um, like like the theory of mind uh, concepts here, the brain structure that we try to study, memory, these aspects which are very important to understanding how we design these socio-technical systems down the line. So I would say take advantage of that and have fun in the class because it's a great class. All the assignments and exams are super interesting as well. And I think uh, you're definitely going to learn a lot, plus have a lot of fun. And I know personally that a lot of people will also get excited to pursue these things um, later on in their graduate careers as well. Hi, all. I'm Surabhi, and I took the effective computing course in my undergraduate since I was very keen to combine my interests in emotion research and artificial intelligence. Such courses have encouraged me to pursue this combination and as a result, I'm currently doing my PhD at the intersection of cognitive science and computer science. The course went beyond my expectations, leading to a publication at a good Indian data science conference. What I liked most about the course was its structure and how easily Janendra Sir was able to adapt it from an offline setting to an online setting owing to the COVID-19 pandemic, which is why I know that all of you NPTEL listeners would have a great time. My message to everyone taking this course is to be aware of the new and upcoming fields at the intersection of AI, for example, AIX Health or AIX Cognition, and make the most use of this course and enjoy. Hi everyone, I am Divyanshu. I am a first year PhD student in Information Science at the University of Colorado Boulder. And I took the effective computing course offered by Dr. Jinder Shukla in winter 2020, uh, when it was offered at IIIT Delhi. And I really liked the course. Uh, because I was very interested in learning more about machine learning and deep learning techniques in uh, day-to-day technology and how they are inter- how do we interact with the idea of effect and embodied interaction. And one thing that I particularly like about this course was that uh, the course walked us through the ethical aspects of using such technology, which is one of the key domains in which I always wanted to work into, which is critical human computer interaction. So I really appreciate that part of the course. It helps me a lot right now in my career and it uh, did help me grow as a researcher as well. So I would strongly encourage you to take this course and I highly recommend the both the professors who are offering, Dr. Janan Shukla and Dr. Amir Dal who are offering this course right now. So all the best. Hi everybody, uh, I'm Vishal and uh, I took the effective computing course during the last year of my undergrad in 2020. The main reason I took the course is because of uh, Janinder sir. I had previously TA'd with him and absolutely loved the experience. The effective computing course blew me away. I loved the interdisciplinary nature so much so that uh, I'm currently doing my PhD research in multimodal learning. The part I loved the most about the course was Janinder sir's enthusiasm. His uh, slides were really well structured and he provides a ton of references. So my main advice to prospective students would be to go through those references to help contextualize the vast information thrown at you during the lectures and just have fun.